right, number 10, prime factorization of 300. <coughs> um, we can divide by 3 and 100. And then 3 is prime. We can do 2 and 50. <coughs> and then 50. And 25, and then 25, 5, and 5. Alright, so we're going to do 3, 2, 2, 5, 5. <coughs> and then the last one, 28, 25. All right, so <clears throat> ends in 25, I'm going to do a quarter here. I'm going to divide that by 25. <clears throat> Since that's such a big number, we'll use calculator to help. It gives us 113. All right, and then 25, we can break down 5 times 5. Both of those are prime 113. Again, that's an odd number. I have to try some different things. I always just try seven because I don't know. And then let's try eleven as well. <clears throat> so divisibility rules two, three, four, five, seven. Eight, nine. It might be prime. So let's do five, five, and one thirteen. I mean, it could be a bigger number like seventeen or something, but it's hard to see. Okay, it's equal to so one thirteen is not prime. So what number? We we'll divide 113 by. Mm. Let's try 13. It's going to be some odd number. 113, 17. 113, 19. Not seeing it. I'm going to go y equal 113 <coughs> divided by x. So this is going to divide it by all possible um, numbers. And then we're going to go second graph to see the table. And we're looking for a whole number combination. Which it doesn't look like. Get one. Yeah, I don't see anything happening with that. One thirteen prime factorization of the composite number twenty eight twenty five. Double check. Oh, I guess I closed that uh, calculator. Twenty eight twenty five divided by twenty five gave us one thirteen. And so the twenty five we broke down to five and five. One thirteen always says use exponential notation. Maybe that's what we're missing. So we need to do five, five squared, and one thirteen. That's what it is.